Hello everybody, this is Armor King TV 21 here. Um, I just wanted to go over with you guys on how to use the bound mod. So, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna pull up Tekken 7 right here, and what we're gonna do is we're... The basic thing to do is to launch your game, to get it ready, and as the game's launching, you're gonna wanna download this file right here. Now the file is going to download through TekkenMods.com and you're going to want this exact link right up here. I'll leave it in the description. And you're also going to need the Tekken 7 Moveset Extractor or the Tekken Moveset Extractor, excuse me. And you're going to want this link as well. That will be in the description below. It'll be the first link at the top. So, what you're going to want to do is that you're going to want to download this and install Not install it, but you'll download this, right? So let's let's get it. We already have it right here. So I don't know why I downloaded it again, but that's fine. And I'm gonna let I'm gonna do that real quick. Let Tekken do its thing in the background. So what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to extract this to your downloads folder. So I already have a file folder and everything for it. So after you do that, you're going to obviously close this tab. And then you're going to download and install this. So, what you're going to do, and this is just an example, you're going to open up your Tekken Bound Mod thing. Open up. And these are all of the bound of the bound moves and everything. These are just all of the bound folders and the README. Please be sure to you to read the README. It is very important and imperative that you do. It goes over all of the character changes. And also it goes over all the bound moves for your character. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go up here to extract all, extract it, and where you are going to extract this to is when you get to the Tekken Moveset Extractor, you're going to want to go to this folder because you're going to want to open the Tekken Moveset folder. Extractor. Moveset Extractor. And then here you are. Go into Extract the Characters. And that is where you're going to basically jump all of your, um, <laughs> jump. You're, this is where you're going to actually place all of your bound mod, uh, folders. All of these other ones are just projects on your tag to move sets, of course. So, once you have that downloaded and installed, you're going to want to read the README. And this, again... As I say, you're going to read all of this, well, all the ones that matter to you or pertain to you, like if you're an Asuka main, these are your bound moves. If you are an Armor King main, you're going to want to look at the changes first and then look at his, uh, and then look at his, at his bound moves down two, down forward two, down back one plus two, forward one plus two, and sidestep two. One. So after you're done with the readme, and basically you have it installed. So now you're going to open up the Tekken Moveset Extractor, which that is going to be in this folder here. You're going to go all the way down and you're going to run this as administrator for the first time and then the rest you don't have to worry about. Now that mine is open, here's mine. Now you're going to want to go back to Tekken and fulfill the characters, grab the characters that you want to play as or the character that you want to play as. We are Armor King mains on this channel, so we're going to naturally go with Armor King. Let's go with the tap out outfit for bound mod reasons. And then we're going to go with King also for bound mod reasons. You can simply just alt tab like I'm about to do here and go, go to the file folder and then click on the character that you want bound armor king and import to player one now once this is done importing the character now if you have a lower end PC it will not respond for just a few seconds but again let's not delve into that now you have bound armor king loaded and now let's test out the move set so our move our bound moves are down to Oh, an armor king. 
King is just laying on the ground there. Down forward two. Forward one plus two. Down back one plus two. And sidestep two, one. So that's basically how you use the moveset mod. Alright everybody, so when you want to actually play your friends online, what you're going to basically do is set online local player for your character, and that's going to be Armor King, and the local player, or the online remote player, is going to be the person you're playing against, which is King. So, once you go back into the game here, Simple and easy, right? 101 damage. And now, if I have it still set to online local player, right? And online remote player, when I change characters, it's going to look like I'm playing Armor King. So let's set Eliza and Kazumi. And as you'll see, once you change characters, see that? Moveset mod will still have them set to that character. So be sure that if you're that if you are going to play a different character, that you kill local player and kill remote player in this software. That's the term here, is to, to kill it so you can actually play a different character and also the game doesn't crash on either of you guys so that's that's the basics on how to actually use the moveset mod so if you have the moveset mod and these aren't showing up yet and you just put all of these into the extracted characters folder you'll also notice that the extracted characters folder doesn't exist within this realm so you're going to have to actually create a new folder called extracted underscore characters and then drag and drop it from the zip folder into here, as you can see. And that's basically how it works. Now, now you guys, I'm sure you're wondering, Armor King TV, how did you actually do this? Well, let me go about this this way. We'll go into the moveset editor, and let's say we want to change a property of one of Armor King's moves. So this is what I'll do. I'm going to click on Bound Armor King and then select Moveset. Now this is all the data that Armor King uses throughout his entire move list, including his stances, his dummies, which the dummy is a, an example, are usually sample stuff for like sample combos and other things. Um, so basically what this is, there's a lot of code dummy stuff in here too. Um, you can either use these to your advantage because they're not actually used in the game and you can appoint them to other things. But let's let's just instead of try to overwhelm you with one with all at once, let's start at one thing at a time. So let's say we want to change the property of Ford Ford 2 on uh, counter hit. Let's say we want to give it the same counter hit animation as while standing too. So what we're going to do is pause at the moment we hit the counter hit. We're going to go, to, we're going to use, we're going to click on the thing that says go to 1P move ID. And that will appoint us immediately to 1643. Now, what you're going to want to look at is the hit condition list and the reaction list index right here. This is the hit condition list. And this is the reaction list. The reaction list is basically all the hit reactions the character has on their person. So the counter hit is 1921. You're going to want to control C that because it's, it's hard to remember it otherwise. And then afterwards, we're going to want to go back to Ford Ford 2 and pause it right before the move hits preferably. You're going to go to 1P one, one move ID again, 1670, hit condition list. 
reaction list, you're going to want to use 170. So when you get a reaction or a hit condition list that has one or two more hit conditions, sometimes three, you're going to want to go to the one at the very end if you want to mess with the standing hit reactions. If you want to mess with the airborne hit reactions, it's usually going to be these first ones. And as you can see, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, this one is a very odd version of the of the midair hit reactions, but this does exist. So you're going to want to click on the reaction list. If you see some stuff with big numbers like this, then you know you're in the right place. So you're going to want to adjust the counter hit for it to 1921. And then load to P1. And once that's done loading, you're going to check the game. Boom! Oh, that doesn't look right. That's weird. She gets pushed back all the way over there. Boom! Now, you're going to want to adjust the counter hit pushback. Which, it should say front counter hit pushback. Boop. And, as you can see, that's way too far. So what you're going to want to do is count, is go to new, go down the pushback, and duplicate current pushback. Now you have a new pushback that says 290. So you will replace this with this, and then apply. And now you're going to change the number to what you want, in case you want to make this a very understanding hit reaction. So you're going to want to, for the displacement, I'm guessing you're going to want to put this at 10, and the duration, yeah. and then you're going to want to put this at 2. Now, if this doesn't change very well, you, mul or you might also want to change the top number right here. So, again, you load the P1, and then once again, once that's done loading, you're going to go back into the game, And look at that, the counter hit is now active. However, it's not the exact counter hit that we want. Boom, 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 boom! Nasty damage. But yes, we are still missing a few things, aren't we? Boom! Boom! Like that camera zoom in. Boom! So let's fix that, shall we? So we're, what we're going to also want to do... What we're also going to want to do... Is click on the character, again, with while standing 2. Go to 1P move ID. And now we're going to go to cancel index. Now this is going to be very important because this is either the extra data or the requirement index. And as you can see on counter hit, boop, 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 on their feet, moderate camera shake, slow down effect, camera zoom, focal point, camera zoom effect. All of this is what you're going to want with a requirement index. Now, the cancel options and the cancel index is very important to the move because it allows the move. It also allows the startup ca startup stuff. This The cancels are absolutely important when it comes to moves. And also, when you add your own hit reactions. Maybe I'll teach you guys in another video on how to add your own moves into the game. But for as of right now, I'm just going to teach you hit reactions and some basic stuff. So what we're going to want to do is, with Ford Ford 2, we want to do that again. Do it again. Do the move. Ford Ford 2, and we go to Cancel Index. Now, as you can see, this requirement on hit, moderate camera shake, player sound, requirements end first. Now. Memorize this number, 2303. In fact, if you want to, you can just put it down right here. J 
just to memorize it. Just in case you don't like don't like it. Apply, load to P1. Done. Now let's see how it looks on counter it. That's cool. Look at that. Boom. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Cool, huh? Boom. Perfect electric territory. See that? Exactly has to be 14 frames. Ooh. But yeah, as you can see, case in point, that's how we change the hit reaction to how we want it to be. Now, in now, if you want, and these are the changes that you'd like to make, you're going to want to click Save to File. Because this is my bound mod for Armor King and I have to update this, I'm not going to save this to the file currently. But that is basically how you change either a counter hit reaction or how you change a hit reaction in a current reaction list. Now, again guys, if you want me to make a video on how to make your own moves and bring them into the game, Leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think, and if you guys really, really enjoyed this video, and if this was helpful in any way, um, I'd greatly appreciate it if you give this, this video a thumbs up or anything, hit me with a subscribe, or, you know, just give me some positive, or just any feedback that you can. Um, if you guys found yourselves a little lost during this video, I'll do my best to try to improve next time. Thank you guys so very much, and I hope you guys have an amazing day. Later.